Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the P47 Delta and we're looking at the cockpit and looking at the different instruments and switches and whatnot. So we'll start on the left and the first thing we'll probably do is close our canopy, close canopy and lock knob there, just a left click and it does that. First of our lights here are UV lights for the um, for the dials and whatnot, the instruments and you can left uh, mouse scroll wheel, turn on or off, brightness or you can left click and drag. Uh, we'll go here next I think. The current status of the oil cooler, it's currently open, it can be neutral and it can be closed. Out of interest we can control that here with oil cooler open and closed. And you can see the, the guy moving. Same here for the intercooler and here we can control it. Open, close. Canopy, if we're too lazy to press this knob here then we can do thus. Master arming switch for the gun and camera. So if I want to arm the gun or the camera, the camera doesn't exist in DCS, but only in the real plane. Camera only, all off, guns and camera armed. Okay, next down here, this is the flaps button. So flaps uh, up in a neutral position and flaps are down. Next we have the trim knobs and the indicators. Trim is currently set to take off on the rudder and I can change the rudder trim. Aileron trim, currently neutral and elevation trim, currently neutral. Gear here, I do not want to put that up at the moment, but gear up and down and lock. Here we have our master uh, fuel selector, our main fuel selector, I'm not gonna mess up that at the moment. We've got off, we've got main, we've got auxiliary, and we've got external, so we can choose where the fuel's coming from. Next, external fuel tank selector. Uh, we haven't, at the time of making this, we don't have fuel tanks yet, so we haven't tried it. But um, that is that there. What have we got out of interest? Oh, we can have three, it looks a bit. Belly tank, left tank, and right tank. Okay, very good. Next, we've got a throttle quadrant, several controls here. We've got the throttle, main throttle up and down. There, yeah, this guy. We've got this guy, and here is our, uh, our is like a web button, or it's just not quite accurate, our uh, NOS. It is our water methanol mix, uh, which is out of interest. I wonder what uh, ratio is. I wonder if it's 50 50, like the Germans use. It'd be interesting. The German planes. Uh, you can lock, press that, and you can press that and lock that in. Again, currently, this early version we've got, it's not working, but that will be there. We've also got the boost lever here, which can be locked or unlocked to the throttle lever here. So that's the boost lever there. The rules are that the boost lever must never be advanced ahead of the throttle. It can be locked with it and it can be behind it. There's a lot of shouting on the internet saying that you shouldn't lock it like this. From what we've seen and from reading the manual, it's actually okay to lock it. And only in certain some circumstances we need to unlock it. It's just what we've been told. So. Uh, next we've got the uh, RPM of the engine and the prop there, uh, not working at the moment, I guess that's because we're in idle, I'm pretty sure. Next we've got the mixture control, we can be full rich, or, uh, auto rich, which is our 99% of what we're going to be doing, auto lean, and our idle cut off there to basically stop the engine. Uh, we've got the friction increase decrease there for that, which obviously doesn't work. Next we've got the gun sight off and on, rear stats at the gun sight is now on. We've got the increase pressure emergency. Uh, this is a fuel pressure, isn't it? I'll see. Let me just double check. Uh, yeah, yes. it is. Yeah, so emergency. we haven't found a way of using this yet, but if for some reason we're losing fuel pressure, which we've got here, then we can use it's a booster rear stat basically. And we haven't found a reason to use that at this time. Next is our it's going to be a gyro compass. I think, no, sorry, it's going to compass light rear stat there. So we turn that on if we want. General instrument rear stats for the lights. So we turn that on if we want. Uh, let me just double check that is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, next, we've got a generator on or off, our pito heater on or off, our all dilution, which we're going to use for uh, landing uh, in certain cases. Next, we've got warning test lights here, so we can test the landing gear and fuel level lamps test, and we can test the oxygen and turbine overspeed lamps. Other lights, so external uh, wings and tail here, and uh, our landing lights switches and our cockpit lights there. We've got main circuit breaker board here, and we've got main circuit breakers. At the time of making this, we don't have the ability to pop them out, so they're always in, that probably will change at some point. Next is our, this is a cool thing, our um, compressibility over, so the, if we get in a dive and we overspeed, which happens to warbirds, and it's lethal in just about all warbirds, 
especially the really fast ones, uh, we can undo the switch, ping, and that pops out our, comp I think they're one use only, but uh, well, I'm not entirely sure, but they're little flaps under the wing that come out, you just see them there, uh, just kind of where the front gear struts meet the body, and they that are... One. Mm -hmm. Some, you can open and close them. Oh, you can, right? Stand by. Yep. Yes, you can. Must be on compressed. Oh no, mine didn't close. Yes, it did. Must be on compressed air or something. I don't know. I don't know how they work, but that's that to get you out of a uh, dive. Next, um, we've got our controller for engine slash propeller RPM. Up position is auto. We can. Uh, that is going to give us governor control here as well. Uh, we've got to, we can increase via that and we can decrease via that. Nothing's going to do anything at the moment, I think, because we're in idle. So, put that back there and we've got a circuit breaker associated there. Where do we want to go next? Ignition slash magnetos, both magnetos, right magneto, left magneto, off. Battery on, off. Battery amps. Miles per hour, indicated airspeed. Adjustable chronometer. Landing warning light, so gear are green obviously if they are down, and we've got red here, um, and we can uh, uh, push to test that as well, put the gear up. Uh, this is a gyro compass, not a magnetic compass, a gyro compass and associated adjuster. Standard barometric altimeter in what appears to be inches mercury and it appears to be set wrong as well, and the ability to adjust there. Here we have a roll slash your slip indicator. Here we have our accelerometer. Uh, very interesting that it goes up to 12 and to minus 4. And interestingly, it allows us to go up to 8G with re associated recorder plus negative needles. Basic VSI vertical speed indicator in thousands of feet per minute. We have a suction. Now, I haven't actually read this in the manual, RC, but I'm pretty sure it is suction to give us instrumentation. Do you agree with that? Okay, well... Yes, yes. I agree. Yeah, so in normal flight, we want to be within normal regime between him and him, and that is going to ensure that our instruments work because they need suction for whatever reason. Water. Now, this is an interesting one. We're pretty sure this is the water as relating to the WEP, as relating to the NOS, as relating to the... Uh, water methanol mix currently it's not in the build that we've got here but that will be coming and we're not sure how that's going to work so we'll just have to see fuel level warning light there and the ability to test we're not sure what the threshold is for that to come on I haven't flown enough yet here is a uh, standard magnetic compass if we skip down jettison for I think that's going to be belly right wing left wing Parking brake, um, which I've got a video of how to use that, it's quite difficult to use, but it's used in combination with the toe brakes here, left and right. Armament switch is left pylon, right pylon, belly pylon. Interesting one, we couldn't figure this out, uh, we haven't figured it out yet. Wings, a chemical, uh, let me try and get the exact name of it, I'm trying to get it there. Left wing chemical arming switch, uh, left chemical arming tank switch. If you know what that is, let us know. I know the P51's got the same one, the same switches, but we haven't figured out that yet. Control stick, obviously. Pickle button or weapon release for the bombs. Trigger at the front. Uh, rudder pedals. That's thus. And uh, braking toe brakes there. Independent. Take a quick sip. Okay, main hydraulic pressure there. And you can see associated thresholds, so I'm going to keep that in the green. Oxygen blinker is what it is. For some reason it's not blinking at the moment, I guess I've got my oxygen turned off. Um, the pressure of the just the cylinder, essentially how much oxygen we've got in the in the tank. Fuel gauge, main here, auxiliary there in gallons, so it carries quite a lot of gas. Here we have our manifold pressure, so in the inlet manifold to the engine, what is the pressure? And this is going to be boost pressure essentially. Here we have our RPM of the engine and the prop, and we can see regime, uh, maximum for WEP there, uh, maximum cru uh, cruise regime, and sorry, cruise regime is there, and climb regime is there. Uh, where do we go next? We can go here, it is our artificial horizon with associated adjuster, 
and uh, our cage, you know, the ability to cage. Here is our ca um, carburetor air temperature, currently reading zero, which I'm not sure why, because it's 20 degrees outside, but that's what it is. Uh, I've skipped over this, the K14 gun sight. Here we have the obligatory crash pad. Here we have the Ranger in hundreds of feet, so 1,000 feet, 1,500 feet, and so on. Here we have the wingspan selector in feet to select the wingspan for the analog computation of the lead for the gyro driven sight. For some reason I can't move that, there we go, 50 feet. Here we have the manual reticle blocker and I can't show it for some reason at the moment, I thought I turned it on, but uh, clicking this here, you get two sites, you get, and we've got a video on this, we've got the gyro driven site, we've got the static site, that hides the, most of the static site symbology for, whatever reason if you just want to um, depopulate it uh, that's that next we've got the turbo RPM I don't know if that's in hundreds or thousands or whatever but that's just how it shows and overspeed light and uh, test for overspeed push to defrost switch right click left click here we have the oil temperature and associated regimes, the fuel pressure in PSI I think, and the oil pressure in PSI, and associated regimes. Cylinder head temperature, very important one we found to our um, uh, amazement, obviously that is very important to keep an eye on. Interestingly it doesn't have regimes but it does tell you about it in the manual. Primer is what it is, I'm not going to do it now but I can manually prime the engine with fuel just to build up temporary pressure. Cow flaps, uh, very important one. These open, these little flaps here that you can see currently open. You can have them open on the ground and in certain flight regimes, e.g. certain types of climb. Repeat a knob for the canopy here. This is an interesting one. We believe this is our IFF, so it's going to be done by lights. So in this case, well, I'm not sure exactly how this works. I can't find the information. But for instance, if we're going to have the lower bottom of the light white and amber, and then that means to the ground crew, do not shoot me, I'm a friendly. We think that's what that means. Uh, next, oxygen control. So we're going to have uh, oxygen emergency bypass. And we've got our mixture, auto mix here. And I think that's what we've got there at the moment. Master audio knob here, fully clockwise, is master audio on. Copy vent there, push and pull. Our tail hook there, our tail hook is locked, tail hook is unlocked, so unlocked for taxi. Uh, locked for takeoff and landing. This is our SCR 522-A radio. We've got off channel A, B, C, D preset in the mission editor. Lights on or off for the cockpit, obviously. Modes REM, that's push to talk. Uh, R, which is um, receive constant. T, where he is, uh, tr uh, transmit constant. And the lockable spring loaded switch. Okay. Here we have the direction finding. This is called the uh, what it's called the Detroler. This is not modeled in DTS. I would love it to be modeled in DTS one day. I just find them things like anything radio based. I find fascinating. Um, so obviously uh, in our band selection and whatnot, but not modeled. These uh, at the moment are secret radio detonator buttons for each of these radios for the DF and radio. We think that scrambles the presets. We think that's how it works, or it just fries them. I don't know. Um, obviously. I've uh, got no way of uh, testing that out. That RC, a little document folder which is not modelled, I think that's everything. So nice and simple, familiar to the P51, if you, you'll recognise a lot of this stuff copied over from the P51 obviously. Uh, oh there's a little real stat there. Anything you want to add to that RC? No, that seemed to cover it. I hope you find that useful and see you later.